Just a few hours ago, Morgan Stanley reviewed Tesla's AI Day and compared Elon Musk to Thomas Edison. And investors apparently can't resist, reports Street Insider. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle breaking news and ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage. And also, please give us thumbs up for this report if you find it informative. So, the Street Insider is reporting that Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas compared Tesla CEO Elon Musk to Thomas Edison in a recent review view of the billionaires AI day presentation well I if before I go even further do you think Elon Musk and Thomas Edison are comparable uh, if you don't know who Thomas Edison is you can look up online so Musk's 2.5 hour presentation was filled with promise including ambitions to eliminate the need for manual labor through the use of humanoid robots however Jonas points out what may be one of Elon Musk's best ideas to date. Here is what he says. Tesla is running one of the world's largest and arguably most ambitious research and development laboratories to tackle the world's hardest problems. Jonas believes Tesla's research and development lab is one of reason why investors can't resist funding the effort. Investors can't resist funding Tesla's efforts. Tesla essentially generates profit from just two vehicles, the Model 3 and Model Y. And Model Y is becoming Tesla most important vehicle at least that's the goal and Elon Musk hopes to make it the world's uh, top selling vehicle overtaking Toyota Corolla so Tesla essentially generates profits from these two vehicles that address segments that account for around 10% of the auto market historically the company was truly dependent on outside capital to continue its development and progress to commercial scale it would seem Tesla has the ability to acquire outside capital at a time, form, amount of its choosing. Morgan Stanley forecasts Tesla's combined CapEx and research and development budget to reach $26 billion by 2027. That's a lot of money, right? By comparison, by comparison, Apple's combined CapEx and research and development budget was $26 billion last year. NASA, uh, NASA projected 2021 20, budget of under $23 billion. As for the Tesla bot, Jonas has heard feedback from investors who say this was a gimmick and others who say this could be the next big thing. Either way, Morgan Stanley believes that setting a team of scientists toward the task of perfecting a humanoid robot could help lead to important discoveries relevant to the field of autonomy. Morgan Stanley Stanley reiterated on overweight rating on Tesla with a $900 price target. Morgan Stanley believes Tesla's board and senior management team will execute on an array of strategic and commercial moves that are commensurate with its valuation. Uh, so what do you think, friends? Do you think Tesla uh, uh, CEO Elon Musk and Morgan Stanley are comparable? If yes, in what way? Let me know, please, your thoughts. This would be very interesting to hear from you. You know, the AI day was a very big event. Elon Musk wanted Tesla to be seen as much more than an electric car company. Uh, last Thursday, Tesla AI day, the CEO described Tesla as a company with deep AI activity in hardware on the interface level and on the training level that can be used down the line for application beyond self-driving cars, including a humanoid robot that Tesla is apparently building. Tesla AI day, which started over a route 45 minutes of industrial music uh, pulled straight from the Matrix soundtrack featured a series of Tesla engineers explaining various Tesla technology with the clear goal of recruiting the best and brightest talent to join Tesla's vision and AI team and help the company to go to autonomy and beyond. There is a tremendous amount of work to make it work and that's why we need talented people to join and solve the problem, said Elon Musk. Like like both Battery Day and Autonomy Day. The event on Thursday was streamlined live on Tesla's YouTube channel. There was a lot of super technical jargon, but here are top four highlights of the day, friends. Um, 
The first one was the Tesla bot, a definitely real humanoid robot. Um, this bit of news was the late last update to come out at AI Day before audience questions began, but it's certainly the most interesting for some people. A TechCrunch reports that after the Tesla engineers and executives talked about computer vision, the Dojo supercomputer and the Tesla chip, all of which we'll get to in a moment, there was a brief interlude where what appeared to be an AI alien go-go dancer appeared on the stage dressed in a white body suit with a shiny black mask as a face. Uh, turns out this wasn't just a Tesla stunt, but rather an intro to the Tesla robot, but a humanoid robot that Tesla is actually apparently building. Some people I've heard not taking this seriously, take, thinking that this was just part of the presentation, but who knows? Well, a lot of people also know that human uh, Elon Musk promises a lot and doesn't deliver it on time as with the case with the full self-driving but who knows what will come down the road in several days i personally don't like humanoid robots i don't want them to overtake our lives one day so when tesla talks about using its advanced technology in applications outside of cars uh TechCrunch says we didn't think he was talking about robots slaves that's not an exaggeration ceo elon musk envisions a world in which the human drudgery like grocery shopping the world that people last like to least like to do can be taken over by human ro humanoid robots like the Tesla bot. But let me ask you a question: If we stop going and doing shopping, if we stop going and doing this, and robots do everything, then what are we going to be do? We are going to become very lazy people, right? So how do you solve that? So another thing was unveiling the chip to train the dojo. Tesla director Ganesh Venkataraman unveiled Tesla's computer chip designed and built entirely in-house that the company is using to run its supercomputer dojo. Much of Tesla's AI architecture is dependent on dojo, the neural network training computer that Elon Musk says will be able to process vast amount of camera imaging data four times faster than other computer systems. The idea is that the the dojo trained AI software will be pushed out to Tesla cust customers via over the air updates. Next thing that Tesla presented is the talk they talked about a lot about full self driving and beyond. Many of the speakers at the AI Day event noted that dojo will not just be a tech for Tesla's full self driving system, it's definitely impressive advanced driver assistance system that's also definitely not yet fully self driving or autonomous. The powerful super computer is built with multiple aspects such as the uh, simulation architecture that the company hopes to expand to be universal and even open up to the other automakers and tech uh, um, uh, tech companies and uh, the last four things that tesla talked about during the ai day was the solving computer vision problems during the ai day tesla backed its vision based approach to autonomous autonomous cars yet again an approach that uses neural networks to ideally allow the car to function anywhere on earth via the autopilot system. Tesla's head of AI Andre Karpati described Tesla's architecture as building an animal from the ground up that moves around, senses its environment and acts intelligently and autonomously based on what it sees. Andre Karpati, head of AI of Tesla, explaining how Tesla manages data to achieve computer vision based semi-autonomous driving. Um, Tesla, so uh, so we are able building, of course, all of the mechanical components of the body, the nervous system, which has all the electrical components, and for our purposes, the brain of the autopilot, and specifically for the section, the symmetric vision cortex, he said. Karpati illustrated how tech, uh, Tesla's neural networks have developed over time, and now uh, how the and how now the visual uh, visual cortex of the so on the two Two main problems that Tesla is working on solving with the computer vision architecture are temporarily occlusions, uh, uh, like cars at a busy intersection blocking autopilot's view of the road beyond, and signs of making the that appear earlier in the road, like if a sign 100 meters back says lanes will merge. To solve for this, Tesla engineers fell back on a spatial recurring network video module, wherein different aspects of the module 
module keep track of different aspects of the road and form a space-based and time-based query, both of which create a cache of data that the model can refer back to when trying to make predictions about the road. The company flexed its over 1,000 person manual data labeling team and walked the audience through how Tesla auto labels certain chips, many of which are pulled from Tesla's fleet on the road in order to be able to label at scale. With all of this real world info, the AI team then uses incredible simulation, creating a video game with autopilot as the player. The simulations help particularly with data that's difficult to source or label or if it's uh, or if it's a close top and uh, so friends what me what, let me know your thoughts please what do you think about morgan staley analyst adam jonas comparing tesla ceo elon musk to thomas edison in a recent review of the billionaires ai day presentation the topics that i just talked here this is armin harian from talknews.com i look forward to reading your comments in the comment section below we always have great discussion friends let's keep them coming and also please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking tesla news stories time-based news stories and also give us thumbs up please if you found this report helpful have a great day god bless you and peace be with all of you i'll see you soon in our next report